Congratulations to the seniors. You guys did it. For more than 15 years, Milwaukee Public Schools has partnered with Milwaukee Police to keep schools safe, from patrolling to helping with after-school activities. Superintendent Posley, great to hear from you. How are you doing? Even a recent PSA featured Police Chief Alfonso Morales and Superintendent Dr. Keith Posley. But now, school board member Saquana Taylor says it's time to part ways. Inside of a school just sets a different tone for our students. Taylor is a co-sponsor for a resolution to turn Terminate their contract with MPD, and it could be a done deal at their next board meeting. Taylor says the district pays MPD about a half million dollars per year for a dozen officers to be at schools, and now she'd like to see that money be used for other programs. Every time I talk to a student, they tell me um, that they need more assistance with mental health, they need more counselors, they need more therapists, um, social emotional needs. So I think we should put it, we should put the funding there. And given the tension between police and the community, Taylor says the timing is right. Given we live in Milwaukee, and let's not even take away all of the things that are going on. And if we want an environment that fosters learning, then we do not need it to look like it's a prison setting. Students tell us they prefer school security rather than police. Do school resource officers make you feel any safer at school? No. I feel safer with the security guards because they don't use their force. They don't have guns. They don't have taser. They don't try to harm us. They try to help us. In Milwaukee, Hillary Mintz, WYSN 12 News. The president of the Milwaukee School Board just issued this statement saying in part, I support the resolution calling for ending the contracts with the Milwaukee Police Department. Saving funding from police contracts will help the district better support students by providing more nurses, psychologists, social workers, guidance counselors, and mental health and trauma specialists. 12 News asked MPD about the possible contract termination. They say they will continue to support MPS and its students. The board meets next Thursday.